Denny, tell us a little bit about the Safe Schools Workshop. What can we expect? Well, as the title implies, it's very proactive. Embracing diversity, making our schools safe for all students. We take a very proactive approach to creating a positive climate where kids are going to feel safe and be treated with respect. And don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean when bullying happens, we're not going to deal with it and we'll deal with it in no uncertain terms. But there are a lot of things that we can do to avoid that. Tell us a little bit about the structure of the workshop. Well, it's very interactive. It's not I talk, you listen. There's group discussion. There are activities. There's a lot of time for planning and implementing. And we try to make it as fun as possible. But our ultimate goal still is to plan and, and implement safe school strategies. Uh, but nowhere is it written that we have to have long faces and stern looks to make it a good learning experience. And we're all busy. But once we get everyone on board, it's not going to take as much time as we might think. So what is the overall concept of the workshop? What, what can we expect to learn? Well, first of all, we look at a historical perspective of our fight for equality. And when you stop to realize that just 50 years ago, black athletes were not allowed to play in college athletic teams in the South. Uh, the Voting Rights Act is only 50 years old. Look how far we've come in that short period of time. And we're going to take a little time to give ourselves some pat in the, pats on the back as educators because we've always been out on the leading edge. And I think we're going to continue to do that. Well, secondly, we look at our own fear and bias. And we do have them. We all think we're running for sainthood. But there's a lot of stuff in there, old information in there that we still have to deal with. And once we begin to deal with it, we open ourselves to be more, more loving and caring and accepting of people who are different from us. And a third part of the workshop is nuts and bolts planning and strategy. Give me a for instance when we're talking about the nuts and bolts of this. Well, one thing is for all of us to realize three levels of offense and how we deal with them. I was ready to start class one day and one of my kids says, hey, Joe has a gun in his backpack. And I said, Randy, don't say stuff like that. And I started to teach class. And then I thought, hold it. I need to deal with this. So I said, you two come out in the hall. When we got out in the hall, I said, Randy, I think you were joking. But by law, I have to call security. I have no choice. He said, I was just kidding. Go check his backpack. So I went down to check his backpack and I thought, no, no, that's not my job. I wait for security. That's a level three offense. That's very serious. And they're dealt with at a high level. Level one is that stupid little things that kids say. We've all done it. You know, make that, make that slip of the tongue. And if we don't think there's malicious intent, we can handle that right on the spot. Something like, you know, that, that kind of remark hurts a lot of people. And I don't want to hear that in my classroom. Or, I know you meant that to be funny, but that hurts a lot of people. We don't do that in our school. One day in class, two kids were working together, and one of them made a kind of a derogatory comment about Asians. And I said, that's not acceptable in my class. The next day, I addressed the entire class. I said, yesterday I heard a, a comment against a certain race. And you know something? That's really not what we're all about here at Tech High School. That's level number one. We can handle that on our own. But if that persists, that becomes harassment and a disciplinary referral is in order. So in a nutshell, it sounds like this is all about getting everyone involved. Now, I know you like quotes. Do you have a, a quote that kind of sums this up for us? Well, I do. It's all about courage. When you see something, when you hear something, do something. Eli Weissel summed it up nicely. I swore never again to be silent when human beings endure suffering or humiliation. We must always take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor, never the victim. Silence encourages a tormentor, never the tormented. So when you see something or hear something, do something. And if you do that in a corrective rather than in a critical manner, it really becomes pretty easy to do.